Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, it is time for a TalkPod A36 Plus update. So uh, this is the latest radio that TalkPod has sent over. Um, they sent this one, which was the harmonics fix for the, I guess, the 5-watt version of the radios. And then they sent this one over, wanted to know if they could send me this one, which is their 8-watt radio, uh, which also has the supposed harmonic fix. So we're going to take a look at these. Uh, I'll take a look at them on the O-scope. Um, so we've got a, a few of them here. Uh, I want to primarily, I think, be focusing on the, uh, let's see, the, the, uh, these two that they have sent over recently. This, this one I've had for probably a little bit over a month. This one I just got about a week ago. So, uh, Let's head on over to the bench and see what they look like. Okay, so here we are over at the bench, and uh, we'll start off with, uh, let's start off with the one that they just sent me. Um, their 8-watt radio. Um, let's get this hooked up here. I'm still uh, using my slightly modified setup here just to see uh, if it makes any difference on the longevity of the connectors on my attenuators. Um, as I said in one of my last videos, I've had some problems with the uh, attenuator developing an open. Um, I don't know if it's from screwing in and out of these radios or, or what, so we're using a little RG316 jumper wire here, and uh, everything has been calibrated for the equipment that is in line. So. All right, we're going to get the radio set up here. Um, let's just start off. I'm looking at uh, Spectrum here. I just have between 100 and 500 megahertz here. And uh, let's just start right off by looking at what it looks like when we key up the radio. And uh, uh, it's looking pretty, pretty good. Um, maybe these harmonics uh, on the talk pods have been taken care of. Let's jump right over to the harmonics. and. Uh, see what things look like. 146.5 megahertz. And we're looking for the first five harmonics. So let's start off uh, on high power and see what we've got here. Okay, high power, we have, uh, well, looks like we're getting about 7.8 watts on high power. And uh, look at that. Second harmonic, third harmonic are down uh, over 50 dB and are both below the 25 microwatt line. So, uh, this radio now looks like it gets a pass. And I don't know if you guys remember how horrible this radio looked uh, in the past. The uh, A36 Plus had some of the worst harmonic uh, emission problems, I think, of any radio I've ever looked at. So, very impressed there. Uh, let's drop down to low power. This one actually has a mid too. We can Confirm. jump to mid power. Oh. Menu. Power. Confirm. All right, on medium power, we've got about 2.5 watts out and uh, still over 50 dB down from the fundamental on the second and third harmonics and below the 25 microwatt line. Menu. Let's. Power. Go down to low power. And on low power, uh, second and third harmonics are below the 25 microwatt line, and in general, looking somewhere between, you know, more than 40 dB down. But here is where we kind of run into my question that I have. Note the fluctuation of the fundamental. Um, I'm just wondering if anybody else has experienced this. Um, that leads into something, a little foreshadowing to something I'm going to show you a little bit later. Um, so let's go ahead and switch. Let's just for funsies, uh, we'll take a look at the 70 centimeter side of the radio. And uh, let's go in here and change our our spectrum analyzer 
to 443 megahertz. And we have about 6.3, 6.4 watts on high power on, uh, on 70 centimeters. And the harmonics look great here on 70 centimeters. Um, let's just see what our other menu. Oops. Power. Confirm. Medium power, 3.4, well, 3.13 watts. Uh, still harmonics look great. Menu. Power. Confirm. And low power. We got about one and a half watts out on, uh, 70 centimeters, and we don't see that fluctuation of the fundamental on the 70 centimeter band. Uh, so now let's look at um, let's look at the other radio that they sent uh, real quick. That is the non 8 watt version. Um, as you noticed, that one didn't quite get to 8 watts. Uh, wasn't horrible but it also was not 8 watts. Um, all right, so this radio. Uh, let's see here. And let's see what we've got here. Oh, let's first, I guess we could have started with 70 centimeters since that's where we were. 146.5 megahertz and we got about 4.5 watts out on high power but look at those uh look at those harmonics second and third harmonics uh way down uh 60 and 70 db down from the uh fundamental and uh well below the 25 microwatt line Okay, so now let's, this, uh, this radio only has high and low, so we'll go with uh, now switch down to low, and on low power we got, uh, wow, look at, it's doing the same thing, it's fluctuating all over the place on low power, uh, but the, fun, the uh, harmonics uh, actually look pretty good, uh, regardless of uh, what is going on on the low power setting. So let's uh, switch to 70 centimeters on this radio. Just take a quick look. Uh, let's see here, 443 megahertz. And low power, uh, just under a watt on uh, low power uh, is what this is looking like. And uh, of course the uh, harmonics look great on 70 centimeters. And on high power, we have uh, about three and a half watts out on high power, and uh, the harmonics here on 70 centimeters uh, look great. So I guess where we are here is it looks as TalkPod has fixed the harmonic problem, um, but uh, it seems to have brought up another question as to what's going on at low power. So. Uh, let's now switch from the spectrum analyzer over to the oscilloscope and uh, take a look at what the waveform looks like. All right, so we'll start with uh, we'll start with this uh, five watt radio, and uh, let's switch back to two meters here and high power, and let's see what we get here on the scope. Uh, looks like a nice sinusoidal FM carrier wave um, looks pretty nice and clean. And if you remember, uh, this radio also had a really weird waveform uh, when we looked at it on the O-scope before. And I'll try to put up maybe a still shot of what that looked like in the past. But here, uh, my friends, is my question. On low power, what are we looking at here? Interesting, huh? On low power, um, we got something 
weird going on. Um, looks like the amplitude is uh, varying quite a bit. Rather interesting, I guess, new bug, question mark? Um, I want to try to talk to some of the other guys that have run their radios through, uh, through testing and find out. I'm not sure if any of them looked at the... Uh, at the output on the O scope, uh, I'd like to know if I'm, I'm I'm guessing that all the radios are like this because um, all three of these do the same thing. Um, this being the most recent radio that I received, switch back. We'll look at high power. Here looks relatively clean on high power. Here's medium power. Once again, a nice looking waveform. And here we are on low power. And if you notice, we have the same phenomenon going on here. So uh, I'm thinking that they've done a great job at. Um, removing the harmonic uh, of this radio, but uh, I feel like they've introduced something else on uh, on low power. Um, I also did experiment a little bit um, by moving around on the frequency here a little bit. We can even It doesn't really seem to matter where we are in the two meter band. We have the same same issue. Um, now what we can do here too is just take a look at the 440 70 centimeter band. So there we are, 443 megahertz. Looks like a nice clean signal again on high power. Medium power, same thing. Mid power, confirm. And low power uh, looks good. So this seems to be an issue that is only happening on the two meter side of the radio. Um, and uh, to me, I'm, I'm ecstatic that they've taken care of the harmonic problem. But uh, I don't generally use high power on my HTs uh, if I don't need it. So I'm usually always on medium or low power for getting into most of the repeaters that I uh, use. Um, and uh, I, I also don't necessarily like to run high power uh, if I don't have to on an HT uh, when, you know, with an antenna right next to my head. Uh, but if you guys have any thoughts, Please drop them in the comments below, but uh, let's head back over to the desk and wrap it up. So uh, I think the interesting thing here for me is, is uh, they seem to have handled the harmonic problem, but I think they've introduced something else uh, here on the low power output of these radios, and hopefully uh, that'll be something that they can address. Um, as I stated before, I, I want to try to talk to some of the other guys who have run some... Uh, analysis on these radios and see if uh, they can take a look and see if theirs are doing the same thing. Um, the fact that all of these do it is, I think, sort of, at least for me, a, a, a testament that it's something that's happening across all of the newer radios. Um, before I wrap things up, I do want to say that the the 8-watt radio, uh, they, it came with this new battery. Um, this is... Uh, a it's labeled as a 3200 milliamp hour battery at 7.4 volts, and um, I will put up uh, my battery analysis screen here now, and you will see. So from looking at uh, the battery analysis uh, on screen now, you can see that this battery uh, didn't quite make it to the 3.2 amp hours that it's rated. Um, it, it looks like uh, between the two tests uh, on my 
West Mountain Radio computer battery uh, analyzer, um, which is what I use for, for all my battery analysis. And then I usually will do uh, a third uh, pull on the battery uh, with my, uh, uh, let's see here, it's an A A Torch DL24P uh, battery analyzer. And uh, you can see all three of them are pretty much uh, relatively close in uh, agreement that uh, this battery, uh, the first test I did at one amp draw um, and uh, got uh, about 2,700 milliamp hours. Then I did a draw at a half an amp and uh, it came in almost identically uh, in capacity. And then on the uh, A Torch, uh, that one came in at uh, about 2674 milliamp hours, so a little bit less on the A torch. But uh, long story short, it's not a 3200 milliamp hour battery. It's more like a 2700 milliamp hour battery. So um, it's nice to have a, a bigger capacity capacity battery, but. Um, I don't really understand rating batteries. I don't know how they analyze the batteries, but uh, um, obviously using the standard uh, cutoff voltage for uh, lithium ion batteries, we're not quite getting there. So with that said, um, where are we with the TalkPod A36 Plus? I think uh, we're, we're in a good place because the harmonics have been dealt with. Um, as you saw on, on these radios, um, the normal 5-watt radio and this new 8-watt radio, the harmonics on 2 meters are uh, well within spec. And uh, also on 70 centimeters, uh, it looks great too. Um, I just don't understand what they did to introduce the problem on low power on 2 meters. Um, I've tested three radios, they all do it. Um, so if you guys have any comments, uh, have tested any of these radios to see what they look like uh, on an O scope on low power, uh, chime in below and um, please like and subscribe. And uh, hopefully, we'll have another radio uh, here in the short future um, that I'm waiting on to uh, do another analysis on. So seven threes, everybody. We'll see you in the next one.